as they, well, we're gonna see Koikfa in the mid lane just farming it up a little bit. Fada trying to take some CS as well, and he will get hexed out. Coming out could be your first blood coming out. The troll trap's there. The raise is over the top. One more auto tech. They get the kill. It goes to Volvo, who snipes it courtesy of a rocket. So it wasn't really the ideal hero to grab that one, but I'll take it. Let's give him some, some useful experience. Here's the way they want to take this one as a rocket will be fired out, and then goes in top lane. There's the hook from Volvo. Tries to follow this one up. There's the figure of death as well. They might even get Eternal Envy here, but they've already lost one. It's going to be two going down at the end. Well, nine able to react nicely there and turn that fight. Supernova was expended, but at this stage of the game, you're happy to do that if you get the two for one. Although, losing the sniper is... And maybe, maybe more. Bone is bone. Uh -oh. oh, they bring down the Phoenix in the end. X was used. Finger also deployed. That's two successful ganks now. Uh, Black tries to spend his goal. No, actually just going to try to TP out, but he gets cancelled by Fissure. Now the Hand of God coming through Mech as well. They save him, but another stun still chasing out of this Phantom Assassin. Another Roar looking for way to. They're going to club him down too. It ends up being a two for one, including that Phoenix Echo Slam on the creep. They're going to get the whole Gen Army as well. A massive take there by Cloud9. And on the back of that, they walk into the Roche Pit, scouted out by a Clockwork Rocket. It's probably a good time for the win. Loma gonna fire a rocket, he hooks right in, it's on the bone seven here, gets trapped, finger instantly brought down, they get that phoenix and now the chase comes out black, crit number one, doesn't want to engage a bit further, perhaps worried about the echo slam, big daddy's gonna go for it, turns with the totem, oh, misses on the club, it's unfortunate there, he wound up dropping, nice two for nothing exchange, tinker, strike me back, Zeus will occasionally, but this guy's not made like, Volvo's in a lot of death. TPM. He set it up with his own. Oh, he has no more. Maybe not, he has though. no more. Now the turnaround. Requiem. Raise. One. Two. They got him. Nice turn there. As now the egg will come out. They need to focus this down quickly. They're looking to do it. Echo. They got to finish off the damn egg. They won't even get it. End up losing three. What a catastrophe for Team Ticker. But they will be forced back in the end. Good news is they don't lose any cores, at least. But still, a long duration BKB charge expended by Koifa. He's going to have to retreat. And with no BKB on him, it's time for Cloud9. It seems like this is much more of a target. Hex. There's your hex. Follow finger. They go on to Fada. Big commitment for Bulba. The roar even blown, though. It is a pretty low cooldown, but they won't find a whole lot here. Now the BKB Phoenix just auto attacking Python. They even meant to cancel Bulba's TP again. Tinker getting punished on these TP outs. Another two for one in favor of Cloud9. It looked bad at first, but also, that's also pretty useful. So. Where do you think the Beastmaster goes from here? He had his big four items out very... Oh, Fada. Big move onto Pilot Die. But Chen's in the neighborhood. That's the setback. Mech, Hand of God. He'll get him out, even through the incoming Fissure. Not enough burst damage. It's Fada who pays first and foremost. Now looking for more. The Force getting a great start to this fight. They trap in Big Daddy, and they bring him down. There's the Force that Oh, he did go back for me. But the risk of this exact thing happening is actually pretty big. This is kind of big. Oh, here we go. Fissure to start it off the egg. Coming on the side of the fight. Now the echo for Big Daddy. He doesn't get anything to follow up. Actually, the Fissure came out at the start of the fight. Now the hook for Volva. Looking to turn. They haven't brought down either carry just yet, but Black is being kited beautifully by Eternal Entry from the high ground. Black needs to get in close here. There's the jump. Abyssal. Crit. They try to bring him down. Healed up. Kept alive by Bone 7. Low. Not dead yet. Blink forward. Doesn't get him in the end. Eternal Envy wins the man fight, but now he's on the run. Oh, Blade Mail. Oh. <laughs> With the outplay. Toggles that Blade Mail mid attack animation. Turns the fight. The last man standing is going to be Fada on the Beastmaster. Ends up being a 4 for 3. Very, very even fight. Both teams getting gigantic piles of experience on the team. Just so, see if they get to use it this time. Now. Very painful. Just waiting for the creep waves to march in. And we'll do so now. And with the creep wave comes Koikpa. Lakeness comes out. Echo, they commit heavily on the Koikpa. Has the Satanic, though. Head of God. They do focus him down just barely. And the back lines is high, though. Went in pretty deep for this, but they've lost the Shadow Beat. Insta buyback. He will... Oh, actually, not gonna... He canceled his perk. Uh -huh. Well, I, I guess they decide not to go with that. They're gonna back off them. Two deaths. Suddenly, 6,500 volts. And for Cloud9, why is it the Shadow Fiend getting the tower on the PA that has to be we, did, we talked about this, you know, around like that 40 to 42 minute mark, they were basically six slotted on both cores, and they just had no more room to grow, really. They could maybe get a refresher, extra Lincoln or two, but they're, they're basically done. We just haven't seen the progress. Oh! Big Daddy, what an echo, jumps in on three to start the fight. Now the Laguna coming out on the black, the Supernova also deployed along with the Requiem, as Big Daddy gets a follow-up fissure, excellent initiation by him. No, they don't get too much accomplished out of this. They lose the Shaker. That's gonna be it. Take a lot of heals. Fada leaping forward once. Pilai die. If they could just get the sniper in nice and close, you could get a lot more heavy lifting done. Now the BKB from Fada. Koikfa trying to force him out. These two old teammates. It will be Koikfa who emerges victorious.
As an exchange, though, they do lose that lion. Highlight dies. Well, oh, I'm sorry, way too sexy, rather. They're gonna go down, and now the turn. Loba looking for a, a hook shot attempt here. Looks like it hits some creeps. Chase goes on through Turtle Envy. Yours doesn't have it anymore, actually. Tries for the TP out. Do they have another hook? Oh, it's oh, too late. Play. They don't get it, but they do get the Phoenix elsewhere. So that's a big nice fight for Team Tinker. Four minutes in, only game one of a best of three set. It's getting long already. There's the big jump from Boba. He even pushes Eternal Envy back, forcing out the BKB. Nice way to start the fight. At the same time, though, Black gets roared. Being focused, Quakefa keeping them off of his carry, and now Big Daddy. Oh, low, he will end up falling. Fada with a secondary roar, but another hope to follow this up as well. It's Boba, as well as Fada, just doing heavy lifting for their team. Black will be focused, though. He is going to end up going down. They lose just the PA so far. The clockwork will be next. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess they got him. They got to get him a second time, though. Can he hook his way out to freedom here? He gets called by Big Daddy. Another hook. Not going to do all that much. We'll end up falling a second time. Ace is down. PA dead. They didn't even get the tier three. This Cloud9 base just can't be broken, it seems. Or he, she farmed very well. Yes. That's a good wave clear for the noob. So, big die. Nothing quite, but they want to force out some EKB is out. Or, no, not going to be used just yet. They're going to focus the egg. They need a little more help. Actually, blink it away. the lion. They don't get the egg at the end at all. Quick with BKB is going to wear off at the wrong time. He gets stunned by the egg. Focused by an additional Laguna Blade. Isn't enough to focus him down, though. Pops the Satanic. Goes to work. Turns the fight. Now Big Daddy. Only on the black. He goes past the Satanic. If he can get off, no. There's a flying too quickly. And now the chase on to Koikpa. Another stun, another kill. The nukes coming out from Misery. They're just running over Taker here. And dead for 120 seconds is the Shadow Feed. So the max kill. And the evasion work. But there's your hook though to start off. Boba engages on the Big Daddy. He gets pushed over the ravine. Oh no! That's rather unfortunate with the fourth step coming out. They can't really follow this hook, this hook off, but now they're going to make the go into bone seven. Fritz coming out. Black with the... Oh, he doesn't get him in time. He gets off the egg. What a disaster for Black. Now focus. He's used everything here. The double BKB. The egg coming out, and the turtle heavy beginning to lay into him. He's going to retreat himself back towards safety, it seems like. In the meanwhile, and they're going to end up going down to get way to. And now, Flow hooking in again. Ready to turn on low. Can he finish the job? Yeah, he will. Got him. Oh, the man, again and again, he delivers with the hook shots, but he will fall. And now the Chen, as well as the clock dead, they've used all their BKBs here, it seems. And they're still chasing. They find Fada, try to finish off. Don't tell me. Don't you dare get away again, <laughs> Fada. All right, not this time. They finally kill him all. It was actually funny to see Eternal Envy. He, like, killed himself. He now dealt that? 1,500 damage to a Blade Mill, I think. He has the he's gold got for the it, goal. and he's gonna need it in the fight. Probably. That is unfortunate. Oh you gotta, my god, that, oh, that's gonna hurt. And that's 4,000 gold just to have a BKB if you buy back before you get him off the courier. But in the meantime, there's real pressure about me here. Black now swings towards top. He's gonna work on the 2-3 power. In the meanwhile, Misery trying to rat got punished by Way 2 as well as a clockwork at his side. Black now taking a roar, has a BKB, Abyssal and Refresher gets hacked. They need to focus him down quickly here. But the hooks from Bulba again doing some work. Not quite enough though. He'll end up falling. Aegis drops once. Now they chase forward for more. They've got another roar with the refresher. Roar comes out. No picking his ultimate, but they're just gonna try to do this with auto attack. Inner beast, another hook. Bulba everywhere he hooks seems to be just the death zone. His hook marks the fall of the shadow beast. Now a fissure follow-up stun. This one's doing heavy work, and they gotta be careful not to dodge the blade mail. They're doing it piece by piece, bit by bit. A Cloud9 mostly holds. They get quite a few heroes killed. They only lose a single lane of Rex. There we go. Oh. Trap was set. Finger comes out on the creep wave, actually, but still hits Misery with the splash. He'll be forced back. Now BKB. He Laguna's right through the blade mail, but not able to get the job done just yet. Fada searching for roar targets. Misery blinks in the trees. Stun again, only hitting the trees. And now the secondary roar. This one will be on Koikpa. Where's that freaking PA? Not here for the fight. Koikpa. Oh, he may end up going down now. Doesn't have buyback. This could be devastating. And Koikpa will end up popping. In the end, they get three. That is a dieback now. Bubble hero. Last piece of turn on cooldown. I'm not sure if he ported on something that died or if he misclicked the port and ported to the bottom lane, but that's actually. He decided it is time. I tried to select the dire card and see what it's carrying, but it got two, so it didn't work properly. Anyway, here comes the fight. Big four steps. Jump forward for Big Daddy. On to two. There's your echo. Follow up from the egg. They want to bring him down quickly. Black dropping low here. He turns. Great one. Great two. He's got him. He wants a third. Oh, he gets stunned up. He can't get the job done. But they force the back now, and Bulba roars in with the hook, laying on to Eternal Envy, who tries to stand his ground, but PA's here, and PA has all the answers for Mr. Ho-Ho. Haha, -Ho. Oh, ha, what, what was that? Bulba pierces the Phoenix's <laughs> heart with a hook, and he's like, hey, actually, you know, you missed my heart.
I've been losing some weight recently. All right, so it's fissure of the egg, and then you go in all of a sudden yep. with like a triple buyback. Exactly. You get the element of surprise. Here. The sheep, the first initiation, they're gonna follow up with a fissure. Hook comes in though, trying to interrupt this follow up, keeping Eternal Envy out of the fight. Black Globe kept alive for now. BKB, did he satanic? No, they focus him down. That was close though. Fada got him with the Abyssal Blade after the roar. And now he's got a second round of both. This Beastmaster is a one man wrecking crew. He'll bring down three heroes, make it four with the Clockwork Stead. From the Aegis, it's gonna be another death as well for Bulba. Focus. He tried to keep Eternal Envy out of this fight, and he did it forever, but they have too much crowd control. They've got double refresher, the, dub, the, the sheep stick on the Lina, the Phoenix, the Lina E blade as well, the double Abyssal blade, the Roar combo to work. I mean, this is, they've got like a billion stuns here. You just can't do anything with the Shadow VTA. The throne is exposed though. They were doing some work to the tier fours, it looks like. Well, by the way, we're gonna have a little skirmish break out. Big BOTs from Cloud9 as they try to turn this one. Mulva into the front lines. Looks to go here on the Turtle Envy, but he's got not much left in the tank, and Cloud9 looks to make the move straight onto the throne, knowing that some heroes don't have buybacks available. They're gonna bring down the clockwork quickly, and that's GG. Taker, they couldn't get it done in the end. They fought tooth and nail sin, but they just didn't quite have it. But push came to show. Man, what a game one. Absolutely punishing game one for Taker. That's got to be emotionally devastating after the way that game began. You have no words. Cinderin is speechless. Uh, yeah. Good game.